Police have begun stopping and fining drivers of lorries that don't have mirrors and side guards to protect cyclists. New regulations came into force today to reduce the number of cycle deaths in the capital. Our transport correspondent Tom Edwards reports. The first day of new rules for lorries in London and it doesn't take long for the police to spot offenders. This HGV doesn't have the right mirrors. This one has no side guards. The mayor launching the scheme today says making side guards and better mirrors compulsory will be a lifesaver. Specifications for lorries are one side of it. The other side, of course, is education of, of cyclists and making sure that they behave responsibly and that they alert drivers to their existence. Seven out of the eight cycling deaths this year have involved HGVs, which have large blind spots. Lorries could eventually also have to be retrofitted with new wider door windows, and construction sites could also be forced to use certain routes, reducing left turns. We're going to do enforcement through the planning laws. Um, we've got planning powers to strictly prescribe the routes that HGVs can take to construction sites, for instance. So we're going to make them take routes that involve a minimum left turn, number of left turns, for instance, because that's how most accidents happen, or make them avoid routes that are particularly heavily used by cyclists. Hauliers, though, aren't happy with the safer lorry scheme. They say funds will be better spent on targeting the small number of operators that don't have the right equipment. And cycling campaigners are keen for more to be done. We wanted to go further. We want to see more things like this um, direct vision lorry, where the driver is sitting at street level. He can actually see directly around him. That makes it much, much safer. And you know, it's actually common sense. Why put a lorry driver way up in the air where he can see half a mile ahead of him but can't see what's right in front of him? These drivers were given on-the-spot fines of £50, but that could rise to 1000 Just the start of big changes aimed at making London's lorries and roads much safer. Well, uh, Tom joins me now from central London. Uh, and Tom, how significant exactly are these new laws? Well, I don't think that you can look at those changes in isolation, actually. You have to look at them in conjunction with some other big changes going on in London. Changes like this. This is the east-west cycle superhighway on embankment. And as you can see, it completely segregates cyclists from other vehicles. It has been contentious, but this section is now open. And just look at this. They even have cyclists, their own traffic lights, telling them when they can and when they can't go. So I think the authorities are hoping that when they combine all of these schemes, it'll make the roads much safer. OK, Tom, thanks very much indeed.